Bunk is one of the fastest growing social media stars of recent months with his various videos. Woo! I hit a million followers! Yeah! Now it's been less than two months since I made my before their famous video on Boonk and that was when he had just hit 1 million Instagram followers. At the time of this recording he's sitting on well over 3.3 million Instagram followers. And a lot has changed for our buddy Boonk. In the last couple of weeks the dude is making more money than he ever imagined, he's taken on a new image looking a lot like the Joker and every other social media star is dick riding him. I'm talking about Cash Me Outside, Nafil HD, Whoa Vicky and Joker 305. And on top of this, Boone keeps getting himself in trouble with the law because it's a whole lot of gang shit. So I decided to give Boone a call via Skype to catch me up on everything that's going on in his world. First off, I had to ask him how things have changed since he has found fame. I, I, yesterday I was in the car. And I was in, I was in the lane and out of nowhere. You hear Boone came on a lot of gang shit. Like people be recognizing me out of nowhere, bro. That shit be crazy as fuck. And then like, I, I, what's his name? When we was on the highway. I, I hung out the window. I was out the window screaming boom gang. <laughs> uh, I'd be chill as fuck. Then I hear somebody say boom gang and then I have to turn up. <laughs> yeah, I called him via Skype. Me and Boonk are like BFFs. Things are blowing up and I've actually got a prediction that next year Boonk will either be nominated or performing at the BET Hip Hop Awards. And if he does, well, I got an idea for him. If you got invited to the BET Awards, would you be like, in, like, be like fuck it, I'm going to steal an award? <laughs> I probably would do some shit like that. <laughs> That'd be funny as fuck. The next thing I needed to ask Book was about his recent transformation into the Joker. 4.5 million people watched this video. Ah, ah, ah. You think I'm playing with y'all niggas? Ah, ah. I ain't playing with y'all motherfucking niggas, right? I ain't playing with y'all. Just for real, are you like a big fan of the Joker or what? I mean, I'll probably the Joker. But, uh,. <laughs> It's, it's, it was just like, I did it to like, so it could be like, I could fuck with the internet head, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody expected that shit. <laughs> I decided to ask Boom more questions about his evolving image. Lots changed, man. I don't even recognize you anymore. <laughs> I don't recognize myself. <laughs> You're running out of room there. Where are you going to put the next tattoo? Oh, in here. I, got, I still got my stomach and my back. I just got this money sign. What's your favorite? Boom game. And you're growing the hair out? Yeah, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to give more of an artistry, artistry look than on. Um, what do you guys think of Boonk's new look? Do you think he looks like the Joker? Sound off in the comments down below. Now we know there are a few other characters out there who feel like Boonk stole their look. Let's take a look at some of the claims made by this guy, Joker305. You down right, I'm crazy, ain't I? I put on my mama. When I see you, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. You a house boy. So I had to ask Boonk, what the hell was this all about? All right, did you bump into that guy in prison? Uh, I was locked up with him, but we weren't in like, we was in the same court, we weren't in the same cell or same house or nothing like that. We was just in the same court. Oh, you were in court? Yeah, we was in court together. When they read out your charges and, and the judge sentenced you guys? Yeah, but uh, I went, I, I, after I left court, I went back in my cell and he got out. He got out the same day. It was just a marijuana charge, so. But I think they showed him playing with guns and shit. They, he was on the news right right after I seen him. Right after we was in court, I seen him on the news. I'm not even feeling like fucking argue with this dude over about who's the real Joker. Yeah, I got 3 million followers, he got 100k. Joker305 isn't the only one coming after Book and his success. Take a look at this. Roll it. Motherfucker, that's why I buy my do-rags from, man. You jumping on people's shit and fucking it up. I'm going to put my foot in your ass. Then I'm going to fuck your wife all dick style. If you even got one, you fake Joker-looking motherfucker. That there was Tyrone long dick style. Now, this really blows my mind. Like two years ago, Tyrone was the biggest thing on Instagram, but things seem to have slowed down for him. And now he's got to react to Book to stay relevant. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about nobody though. <laughs> There's more. Another dude made famous for his face tattoos, Rapper Stitches. He made his own version of a Boom Gang video. We actually went right back and told him it was a joke and, and we, gave him some money. 
Yo, right. thank you so much, man. Thank you. Um, I know, I know Stitch just, he texted me. He said he did a video that was based off mine and I, I ended up seeing it. It was funny. It was pretty funny. Um, I fought with him, but I, I be busy. Now to see so many people jumping in on Boonk's popularity, I find it pretty telling of the enormous reach of the Boonk gang. Danielle Bergoli, she also added her two cents. You claim you have all this money, but you gotta go around stealing shit just to get views? The fuck? Like, that don't make sense. I can see, then it's like a, the beginning of her, she was on her live, and she's like, boom gang, boom gang. And then she like, she like starting beef and shit like that. Well, I'm glad she told me she like, she said she like starting it because she's not gonna get it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not responding. Like, I don't have time to respond to people anymore. Like, if it's, if, 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 if they don't see me in the street, then I'm not, I'm not internet shit, they can have it. Internet beef, you can have it. I'm making money. Now, I myself, I've made so many videos on people who have found fame in one form or another, and you gotta understand that a character like Punk really intrigues me. There are no rules for an Instagram star, there's no role model to look up to, and there's no stepladder like to follow in someone's footsteps. So I had to ask Punk, like, what's his creative process? Like, I, never, I don't plan my shit. Like, my shit is never planned. Like, I do my shit based off where I'm at, and like, if something, something just hit me. One of Book's most popular videos to date was a recent one he posted while in New York City. Bruh, what's that oh. on you, bro? What's that on you, bro? What's that on you, bro? What's that on you, bro? Oh, what's that on you, bro? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Another one of Book's most popular videos is when he got kicked out of a school and decided to make it rain. I got 2K for the kids. I got 2K for the motherfucking kids. I got 2K for the motherfucking kids. Now, this is a really interesting story, and Boot walked me through the entire day and what led him to throwing money at the kids. And, uh, well, we're gonna let him tell that entire story in another video on my second channel, McCredden Entertainment. A link is down below, and at the end of this video, be sure to check that one out. It's all Boonk. So Boonk's now living in LA, he's moving around to different parts, and he's only been locked up two or three times. I don't know, my mom, I don't know my mom, she say that she disagree with what I'm doing, but she, you know what I'm saying, she say, she, she glad I'm, I'm doing good, but she disagree how I'm doing it. <laughs> what, what she want you to be doing? Um, I don't know. I know when I was when I was little, she wanted me to be a doctor or some shit, or some football player or some shit, a dentist or some lawyer or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> but now you're robbing restaurants. <laughs> that doing that? What that doing? Yeah. Doing. Uh, she said. She say when she be out and shit, she be on hearing kids scream boom gang and they be boom gang and shit like that. She say she don't, she's on what's in that? She say uh. That should be crazy. <laughs> she said, I'm sending a bad example and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Boog's been working hard on his music and he plans on dropping an EP in the next couple months. He's also got himself the same management team that represents Little Pump and the two dudes, well, they've been hanging out together. <laughs> With Yachty and Punk. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was turned. <laughs> I took off all my clothes. <laughs> yeah, I had got them pants from Yachty. I ain't had shit to wear. And I rode my bike. I was like, fuck, I'm finna be on the bike with now. Blah, 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 blah. My old boxes and socks on. <laughs> so Yachty gave me some pants. And I bought my, uh, I bought one of my manager's shoes. His shoes off his feet. <laughs> what inspired you to strip down to nothing? I don't know. I just wanted to get my shit away. <laughs> I just wanted to get my shit away. <laughs> and when, when you stepped out on stage, they, go, they all went wild? Yeah, they went crazy. They wasn't expecting me. Now, I'm really a huge supporter of Boonk's career. I think this guy's doing something fresh, doing something original, and he's already risen to the top of Instagram startup. So uh, let's hope we see him at like the BET Awards next year, maybe performing, maybe nominated for an award. Now, I'd be shocked to see anyone who sat through this video not already being a fan of Boonk. If you're not, be sure to head over to his Instagram and hit follow. There's a link down below. There's also a link to my own Instagram, so while you're at it, why don't you give me a follow as well? Like, everybody see me as some big person, but I don't even see myself as a big person. I, I feel like I got so much work to do. Like, I know I got so much, I still got so much work to do. Like, if anybody asks me, there's only six months, it's just, I'm just getting my feet wet. It's, it's so much to come for me, but you know, I'm just a little about putting the work. Hey, whole lot of gang shit. 
<laughs> now make sure to check out our second video in which Boom tells the entire story of why he went to that school and why he threw $2,000 at the kids. It's really great. You won't want to miss it. There is a link down below. Thanks to Boom for helping us out with this video. Whole lot of gang shit. See you guys in another video.